Jim Covarrubias is a storyteller. His art is a universal language. By combining painting, music, and dance, Jim's opera, Coco Pelli the Legend, celebrates his Native American and Hispanic history. It's about a character uh, that we call Coco Pelli. This is more of a true story about who parts of the Coco Pelli were. In our story, he challenges the leader of the bad guys to a ball game, which is a very noble thing to do, warrior to warrior. Here, everybody's watching the ball game being played. I highlighted Tona Shkim, so she's the one that has more color in it. You see some of the people are up here in the cheap seats watching the game happen. But everybody would be excited about it. There was a lot of betting that would go on, so it's pretty darn similar to things today. <laughs> These are the four main characters for the opera. Where others see average stones, Jim finds inspiration. You see Cucopelli walking on this one over here, and you see the shaman burning some cedar and sage. Then on the back one, there are the main characters walking, and here you have Tonachtim. I've always been in love with the earth, but now it's like every part of it seems even more special to me. And I think that's the gift. That's the gift of the Native American world, is that the earth is precious, and each person is precious, and everybody has a story to tell. And we're all connected, like to the earth, and to the universe, and to everything that's ever been. We're a part of it. With Cronkite News, this is Madeleine Jeanette reporting.